Who do you think is the sexiest female superhero and why? Well, well, interestingly, Daredevil has has uh, has dated quite a few. Um, oh, he has. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I have to be careful what I say here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good and evil. Sometimes the difference between the two is a sharp line. Sometimes it's a blur. Sometimes we have to do things outside of the law. So Charlie, how do you become a lawyer, not to mention a superhero, when you can't see anything? Yeah, it's, it's tricky, right? It's <laughs> tricky. So, um, yeah, from a practical point of view, the filming process was involved a lot of elements in that regard, you know, trying to trying to uh, trying to uh, be conscious of when of when Matt is maintaining a pretense of, of of his blindness using his cane and having to find things with his hands and then there are times where he's on his own or he's with people or someone who knows about him and he can he can operate as a normal as a normal seeing person and you know it was that was that was a fun uh, balance to try and figure out we are by day vigilante by night I'm just trying to make my city a better place what do you know about the origins of Daredevil? Well, I know a lot now, um, and obviously our show is was was quite closely based on the on the Frank Miller Man Without Fear, um, which has a really magnificent um, origin story. Um, Matt was blinded age nine as uh, as the result of a of a chemical spill from a car accident, and he uh, so he lost his eyesight. But as a byproduct of the accident and the chemicals, he he uh, he his senses were heightened to such a degree that he was able he's ultimately able to to exist and operate better than almost everyone else. Um, and uh, and then he, and from there he you know, while he grew up he was able to hone his skills he had some training and and uh, eventually evolves into into Daredevil. We're gonna make a difference. I know it doesn't feel like it sometimes, but we are. And in this show now, where do we start off? What is the story of the first season? So the first season is is it begins very very uh, very early on in in Matt's life as a masked uh, vigilante. Um, it's also the series is intercut with the origin story. So as we go along, we see more and more of, of Matt's childhood and, and what happened and how he how he kind of grew up and his father and all that kind of stuff. Um, and really, the first the way that I like to look at the first season is that it's it's his evolution from from a very basic masked vigilante, as I said, into the hero that we know as Daredevil. Did you read comics when you were a kid? Were you into comics? Well, I, I didn't read Marvel comics. I read, I mean, because I grew up in the UK, and so I read, uh, I read the, the the Dandy and the Beano. You guys know them, right? <laughs> Every, remember them? Uh, you know, I, I don't think they're going to make them into a movie anytime soon. But, <laughs> but um, so not really. Um, but uh, but um, but you know, when I got the job, I obviously I obviously started reading a lot of a lot of Daredevil comics, and and um, have have uh, have have come to love them a great deal. Who do you think is the sexiest female superhero and why? Well, well, interestingly, Daredevil has has uh, has dated quite a few. Um, oh, he has. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I have to be careful what I say here. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, you know, I think it's probably it's probably uh, I think Bl Black Widow is pretty cool. And you I know, it, it helps that Scarlett Johansson has done that. Yeah. You know, you know so, but uh, um, what about you? Who do you think is the... Is I like the Black yeah, Widow yeah, too, okay. yeah, Scarlett Jones. And I yeah. think Daredevil and the Black Widow kind of had something going on, They had on, something right? going on at some point, yeah. The, and not... The, that's... Yes, that, <laughs> that is... I've, that's in the that's in the, in the the comics, yeah. Do you think we might get to see something in the TV show now, in the Netflix show? Um, so, I... Not in the first. Not in the first season. If we were lucky enough to be to do a second season, then then maybe then there's a chance that they will involve other ca other great characters from from other other series and issues. But um, uh, that would be cool, you know. Um, I know that I know that I know that what one thing that Netflix and Marvel are trying to do with these f with these four shows that they have is because there's there's the goal of bringing them together to make Marvel's the Defenders at some point. Um, which is the Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones. Um, 
while we're doing the individual shows, it's, there's something quite fun and, and interesting about m maintaining kind of anonymity around each of them. Um, so that's, so there's, there's, there's that. And I know Daredevil and Spider-Man are good buddies yeah. too, right? They live together for a while. Right. So could it happen that we see Spider-Man and Daredevil fighting alongside? I mean, that would be very cool as well. <laughs> I mean, one of my, there's a really great issue where Matt Murdock is, has to represent Daredevil in court. And so Matt, Moy, Matt Murdock, the lawyer, has to represent Daredevil himself oh, okay. in court in one of the issues. And of course, how can, he, how can they both be in court at the same time? And right. so what happens is Peter Parker puts on Matt Murdock's Daredevil suit and so he can sit as Daredevil in the, in the dock. Um, I, I just remember that issue and thinking it was really cool. I don't know, I mean, I don't know if we'll get to that, but that'd be cool. I would love to see that. Yeah, yeah. me Thank too. Thank you for yeah. the interview. Thank you so much. It was great nice to talk to you. Yeah. Thank you.